Teti e te ta no mai hoki mai ki te kaute. Welcome back to the kitchen. My husband's favourite thing to eat is an apricot and custard Danish, and so I have developed this recipe. And now, with his tick of approval, I am going to share it all with you. And I'm also going to share this with Jess and her Fano. Jess nominated her Fano because she has been travelling all the way from Tamaki Makoto to Kahumunu to practice kapahaka down there every weekend from May until now and she knows that it has been a sacrifice for her whanau and so I'm going to send them some Danish to share and enjoy. Danish pastry is enriched with egg and then layered with beautiful pata. Now the beautiful thing about this recipe is that you don't really need to knead it and it does a lot of its work in the refrigerator. Nā reira, koe nei ngā kai ka whakamahia e tātou, here are the ingredients you need. Kia kotahi rau, waru te kou karamu pata, 180 grams of butter, kia rua hautore kapu miraka aromahana, two thirds of a cup of lukewarm milk, kia rua kokonui huka haida, two tablespoons of brown sugar, kia rima karamu ihi tere, five grams of instant yeast, kia kotahi hiki, one egg, kia rua mete haurua kapu puehu parawa, two and a half cups of flour, kia haurua kokoiti tote, half a teaspoon of salt. Kapai te fano te mahi tsuata himote neira. First up, we are cutting up our pata into four equal slices. So we arrange it into a tapa farite, a square, onto some baking paper, and we are making this into a 15 centimeter square. So roughly place it on, then flip it over. Taka papangia te pata. Flatten out the butter with the end of the rolling pin and then just smush it out so it is nice and equal in its thickness. Perfect! Into the fridge it goes for 15 to 20 minutes. And now into a bowl we add our miraka, huka haura, give it a good mix. In goes our ihi tere. Stir it and then leave it for three minutes until it's activated and then in goes our hiki. Stir it through and then add in our puehu parawa. Sprinkle in your tote here as well. Give it a good stir and bring it to a dough. And as I said before, we don't need to knead this for very long at all. It's just a few minutes. Poke poke out de pokinga, knead the dough until it becomes a lovely smooth dough, like so. Perfect. And then we just grab a tea towel and we cover it with that and we leave it on the bench for 15 to 30 minutes. Okay, so now we are on to our lamination phase. So we take our beautiful pokinga, we lightly dust it, and first we're just rolling it out to a 25 centimetre tapa farite, a square. Looking awesome, and now we take our pata. It has been lightly chilled, still slightly bendy, and we place it as a diamond on the square, and then fold in those corners, like so and then we just press those seams together. Perfect, and now let's start rolling this puppy out. So our first rectangle is 25 centimeters by 35 centimeters. Then we take the top quarter and fold it to the halfway mark, the bottom quarter to the halfway mark, fold it in half again, and that is your first fold done. Now we chill it for 30 minutes in the fridge, either in baking paper or in a plastic bag. Now for lamination number two. Roll this one out to a 15 by 40 centimeter rectangle, roughly. And then the top quarter, as we did before, goes to the halfway mark, bottom quarter to the halfway mark, fold it in half again, and then wrap it in your plastic bag, in the fridge for another 30 minutes. And then we move to our final lamination. Trust me, Fano, this is absolutely worth it. So we want to roll it out again. Now to a 20 by 30 centimeter rectangle. Top quarter down to halfway, bottom quarter to the halfway mark, fold it in half, and now we want to wrap this in a plastic bag overnight. 
pad pie. So our delicious laminated dough is all done. Now, a little note here, I actually prefer this to do it at night when it's a little bit cooler. If at any point you can see butter smushing out, it is too soft, so put it back in the fridge, leave it for 20 minutes, and then start your lamination again. Now, so what happens, I've wrapped it in a bag, I've put it in the fridge, and it can sit there from 12 to 18 hours, and then at some stage while it's rolling, rising, you want to make some kahi tete, some really thick custard. Let's go. Kia rua hautoru kapu huka one, two thirds of a cup of caster sugar. Kia hautoru kapu powder kahi tete, half a cup of custard powder. Kia rua hiki, two eggs. He kine tote, a pinch of salt. Kia hautoru kapu creamy, half a cup of cream. Kia kotahi kapu miraka, one cup of milk. Kia rua kokoiti iho hupere, two teaspoons of vanilla essence. Kia toru te kau karamu pata, 30 grams of butter. So into a bowl goes our huka one and our powder kahi tete and one egg and all you're doing is giving it a little stir. Kaurori here. Add in your extra heki. Kaurori here ano. Stir it again until it's lovely and smooth. Sprinkle in your tote, give it a quick stir. And now we turn to our miraka and our creamy. You just want to heat this until just under boiling point and steaming like so. Now a quarter at a time you just want to drizzle in your miraka as you continue to stir. Looking luscious already. So pour all of that in. Kātahi whakahokia ki te kōhua and then you want to return it all back into the pot. Now over a medium to low heat, just slowly but surely as you continue to stir, bring this to a very gentle heat until it is thick and luscious like so. Then you want to add in your pata and stir it through. And our delicious iho hupere, our vanilla essence. Stir it through and let it cool. And now we're going to make a delicious simple glaze to go on top of our pastry. So, kia hou a kapu tiamu pirikoti, half a cup of apricot jam, kia hou fa kapu wei manarini, quarter of a cup of mandarin juice goes into our frying pan or any pot and you just want to boil this for two to three minutes until it is slightly thick and looks like that. Luscious. Allow it to cool and you are done. So all of our components are ready and it is time to make some Danish. Now a little thing here is I am doing a large braid, but I'm just going to show you with a little bit of the dough how to make normal Danishes as well. You could do the whole lot of the dough like that if you want, or you can attempt the braid as well. So let's get to it. Yay! Kapai e te whanau. let's take that delicious laminated dough that has been resting overnight Taka papa ngia te pokinga, flatten out that dough, like so, until you reach a 25cm by 35cm rectangle, and you just want to place it onto your tray, and then pipe in your kahi tete, on your kahi tete, your beautiful custard, and you want to leave a border on either side of your custard of 5cm on each side. Now we place on our piri korti, And now for our braided part, we want to add in cuts two centimetres wide all the way down each side of our dough. And then it's time to braid me rāranga pato. You just bring a piece from each side, alternating as you go. And look at that beautiful braid appearing. Right at the end, you might need to chop off a little bit and then fold it together so it's nice and secure. Now you want to cover it with a tea towel for two hours and let it rise and then it is time to bake it at 180 degrees fan bake for 25 minutes until deeply golden. Add your more hinu hinu piri korti, our beautiful apricot glaze onto that fresh pastry and get ready for some deliciousness. Ta-da! He poha tino kakato tēnei. This is such a scrumptious pastry. And to Jess and your whānau, I hope you love sharing this together. And to Jess, I hope all your kapahaka goes really well. And to the rest of your whānau, 
Jess wants to acknowledge you for all of your patience and aroha during this time. Kia koutou katoa, get in the kaita. I hope you make this and let me know what you think. Mā te wā. Mai tōku kaita ki tō kaita, ki kiana ki te aroha. Taka papa, flatten out. Taka papa nia, flatten it out. Taka papa nia te pata, flatten out the butter. Kakato, scrumptious, delicious. He poha kakato te nei. This is scrumptious pastry. 